And welcome back to The Factor on Uncensored. The problems within Russell Simmons' family, well, some say it's out of control. His ex-wife, Kamora Lee Simmons, and their daughter, Ioki Simmons, both put the disgraced mogul on blast. It all started over the weekend when their other daughter, Ming Lee, wished Kimora a happy Father's Day. That's a slap in the face. From there, things escalated on social media with Russell Simmons firing off with his own response to posts. And of course, we can't really hear what he's saying, but we can tell he's going the hell off. And that post was to Kimora Lee logging on to Instagram Live claiming Russell threatened to financially ruin her ruin her daughter's lives. But Kimora and Aoki Lee also posted a muted FaceTime call with Russell. Look, at you can imagine what he's saying there, where he appeared to be having a heated conversation with his daughter, and it goes deeper than that. The drama allegedly stems from his ex-wife and daughters not publicly coming to his defense following multiple women alleging he sexually abused them. Let's get into it. Joining me now here on The Factor on Censor to talk about it, Dr. Bernadette Smith and licensed professional counselor Ashantia Wolf. Glad to have you both here on The Factor on Censor. What's going on here? What's going on here? You've seen it. You've read it. Your thoughts about this? A hot mess. That's what's going mm -hmm. on here. And what's interesting, I like that people are calling him out for gaslighting. His last statement, ridiculous. Mm -hmm. He starts out talking about, oh, well, God is testing you and these are growing pains. What does that have to do with taking accountability for your actions mm -hmm. and how your daughters feel? Mm -hmm. It's a mess. Mm -hmm. Dr. Smith? No, I mean, to that point, taking accountability, but then also not taking into consideration what they're feeling. They set a boundary. Do not talk about my mother to me. Mm -hmm. And that would be very damaging to a child uh, to be put in the middle. And that's and a good policy for a what, child to have with their Let's family. not talk about our business to our children, mm -hmm. plain and simple, but clearly he's not respecting that. So he gets upset and cuts them off or gets upset and continues to yell at them. That's irresponsible. Now, are we talking about because he is a celebrity and has been a celebrity and a mogul and a legend, for decades, are we talking about an egomaniac here? Possibly, because we've seen this with other celebrities before. We've seen it with 50 Cent. We've seen it with Master P. These children, are, or adult children, are tired of it, and they're tired of dealing with a parent that's not listening, and that's not being even openly empathetic to what's happening behind the scenes. And, and Dr. Smith, your thoughts about, are we talking about an egomaniac here? Possibly, right, but at the end of the day, it is about there clearly there's a lack of respect in that family um, system and in that a breakdown in communication and it's unfortunate that it's had to spill over into social media and clearly whatever is going on that the children feel that social media is the only way to try to get some recourse in whatever family dynamics is happening do you think many of the problems started with them being a reality family? You know, putting their, their whole mm -hmm. lives out there in front of the cameras. And those and, and I saw old videos, those little girls were on reality shows mm -hmm. with their mom, with him. Does that take a toll on a family? It can take a toll. However, if there are problems in the family, a reality TV show or not, it's going to be there. There's tons of people walking around with no reality TV shows and no celebrity, and they got those same problems. Right <laughs> you log on to your social media, you might see somebody go off. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> That's true. You know, and so at the end of the day, right, it's really about that system and that sometimes what, so, what social media and what these reality TV shows does is magnifies the problem that already exists. And of course, I'm, I'm not blaming them at all, the, the, the Kimor and, and, mm -hmm. the, and the girls, but I was looking at a lot of videos before the show, just them in reality, and, and, and in some instances how mean, and they, they, they took pride in being nasty to other people, the commoners. Right. But then also I'm wondering how much of that is playing up for the cameras. Like mm -hmm. how much do mm -hmm. we really see behind the scenes? And then to your point also, Russell Simmons had a little bit of trouble even before that show. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he, he was no stranger to some like suggestive behavior of his own character. So mm -hmm. when you couple that, it, it's going to look kind of sketchy. And, and do we see him, you know, from your professional eyes here? 
I, I am just a novice <laughs> from your profession as the core of the problem. I'd like to hear from both of you. Honest opinion. So if we're taking a family systems approach, right, so then we have to look at what the unit is, right? And so the unit being the mother and the father and what type of foundation are you then laying? So then you have to ask yourself, well, what foundation was laid to continue to um, support communication among the family, to continue to support respect among the family? And the reality of it is, could he have in conjunction with Kamora, been creating that when he was in his 30s and Kamora was 17, mm -hmm. right? So how then are you effectively creating a system that can really be rooted in a healthy model to then raise the children? Really quick, 20 seconds. Well, and with the systems model, let's think about intergenerational trauma, right? Mm -hmm. It starts more with the elders. And so with the responsibility, I'm looking at both parents because they both have a responsibility to do what's best for their children. Yeah. All right. I thought someone was going to say that. Dirty bastard. Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for joining me. Thank you.